Hello and welcome to another Mathematics and Stock Indicators tutorial within Python. Next few videos are going to be discussing this term right here, uh, a rune in the indicator. It was developed by Tushar Shande back in the mid 90s and a rune is Sanskrit for literally meaning dawn's early light. So if that doesn't give you an idea of what a rune is, here we go. It's going to determine whether or not a stock is trending and then that trend strength if, if it is. And the calculation for a rune is pretty simple, and this is one of the more simple uh, indicators uh, that we're going to even be covering. And so to calculate it, um, it's going to be there's going to be two lines here, and you're going to be a rune up line and the rune down line. The rune up line is going to be time frame minus how long since the last high divided by that time frame times 100. So it's kind of like a percentage of how long, um, and that percentage is going to be of whatever time frame you choose. So you can choose anything, you can choose a 5, you can choose a 10 day or something like that, but the idea here is how long has it been since the last uh, high price, right? The last highest price. So um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend you use something as short as like a 5. It's probably better to use like a 15 to a 20 something plus. Um, and then the down is basically the exact same thing, only it's just for how long since the last low. So with this indicator, you could actually uh, forget about dividing by the time frame times 100 for the percentage thing. You could just leave it. Uh, and the indicator will look exactly the same, but this is just kind of a way to normalize it if you wanted to compare it to maybe you wanted to compare it to another chart and still display the Arun line. Um, so yeah, you can just keep that in mind. Now finally, uh, that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you guys a few examples, including you know what we're going to be doing with this. Um, so let me bring up the uh, charting application here. And uh, so now uh, we'll just pick something. We'll do uh, we'll do Apple first. And here it is. And let me just drag it over here and fit it. Okay, so here's an apple, and down here is our rune. We're using a 20 time period, so it's 20 days. Um, although it's probably a little bit more than that, because our time frame or our, the stock here is 10 years, so it's probably actually more like 60 days. But anyway, um, so as you can see, the idea here we've got you know the rune up line is this green line, the rune down line is this red line. So every time you know this trend starts trending up, I mean this thing, the rune called it instantly here, right? as that new high was uh, announced and then it keeps hitting new highs so it continues trending up and then you can almost see here where it kind of pops down a little bit there and so the rune down is kind of coming up but we're still you know we still have no crossover still had no crossover we didn't even have a crossover until this point here which you know is right here and it did trend down sure enough and then it crossed back over again here and didn't cross over again until really here and then it continued going up, and then we finally had you know a nice strong downward, and it, sure enough, it did go down. So honestly, for the simplicity of this indicator, um, I was pretty surprised. I've never actually used the rune indicator before. I decided I was going to do a tutorial video on it, and uh, pretty interesting indicator to say the least. You don't really hear too much about this one, or at least I didn't. But maybe that's just Apple, right? So let's go ahead and let's look at a couple other ones. So we'll do uh, let's do eBay. Ebay's done a lot of fluctuating, uh, at least recently. Yeah, so year to date, eBay is, <laughs> you can see how, how eBay's been doing this year. Um, so again, you can see here uh, where we've got a, a definite uptrend here. Sure enough, it calls it at about here and then says, you know, hey, you might want to leave right about here. Um, and then again, it says you might want to leave right about here. <laughs> and sure enough, you should have left. Uh, did signal you here, but then told you, never mind, um, really a little bit after, so like here. Um, anyway, downtrend here, uptrend there, sure enough. I mean, it's calling these trends pretty well, which again, I'm, I'm just pretty surprised. I didn't have too much faith in this indicator when I was looking at how you calculate it. Um, no, we should have, uh, let me go back here and do this, hopefully. Yeah, so like if you were looking at a shorter time frame, this is an example where you know you might want it, uh, like this would be just under year to date, and we're using each little thing is about three days. So to give you an idea here, let's I'll plot. Let me plot up a one year of eBay. We'll keep twenty, 
and see how that looks. So let me close out of this and edit the uh, time frame here for us. So here is uh, still in a room 20 only. We're considering a one year's data. So it's every day, right? And so as you can see here with a highly volatile stock, you're kind of getting late signals, right? So you're getting signaled that it's an uptrend here and you're getting signaled that never mind here and then you're getting signaled uptrend again here at the peak of this stock and so on. So again, I'd like to use eBay because eBay is like one of the most volatile, like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down stocks like this year to date, uh, at least that everybody knows about. And so uh, that's a good example. Whereas you can compare this to maybe a company like Tesla, who's just you know, only recently started coming down, but for the most part was just an uptrend the whole way. Um, it was actually quite accurate. So for for I would say you know long term investing, uh, this is actually a pretty decent pretty decent indicator, right? Um, because here in this scenario, with a nice level, non highly volatile stock. Uh, you can see here that indeed it it would have made you money to trade it with Tesla, but of course Tesla was going up the whole time. But you can see where Tesla is going down here, and if you were warned of that, you know, really right here, which is quite a good warning, because you know the crossover of the moving average was pretty late as well, so um, or later than this. Anyway, uh, that's that with uh, this this rune indicator. In the next video, what we're going to be talking about is actually programming this rune indicator into Python. And then after that, we're going to actually uh, graph it up just like this so you guys can play with it yourself and see what you think. So anyway, stay tuned for the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support of the subscriptions. And until next time.